Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra. In this video, I'm going to talk about benzyl peroxide, how you can use it to treat acne, what are the benefits, for how long should you use it, and what are the side effects. So stay tuned. All right, so let's be real guys. Benzyl peroxide is very well-known ingredient for fighting acne. You can get it over the counter as a gel, cleanser, spot treatment, or you can actually get a higher strength as a prescription. Well, depending on your skin type and severity of the acne, whatever type of benzoyl peroxide you opt out for, it will work to deep clean your clogged pores and help eliminate acne. So let's talk about what exactly is a benzoyl peroxide. It's an organic acid that prevents and treats acne by killing acne-causing bacteria on the skin. So it's actually kind of targeting the root cause of the problem. See, when it comes to acne, a lot of times it seems like just the maintenance, like trying to reduce and minimize acne appearance and then prevent the formation of acne in future, which a lot of the times acne could result from just clogged pores because the excess oil or just the dead skin cells on the skin surface kind of clogs the pore which results in the acne formation well the good news is that benzyl peroxide has metafine properties so it removes the excess oil from the skin which otherwise clogs the pores and causes acne so when the dead skin cells are removed the pores are not clogged and hence acne are not formed so in general, benzyl peroxide is good for all types of acne, which includes cysts, blackheads, and whiteheads, but it's particularly great at treating inflammatory cystic acne. And another thing is that it's not only an antibacterial and anti-inflammatory, but it also is keratolytic, which means that it basically breaks the top layer of dead skin cells. And that's why those with blackheads and whiteheads can also benefit from it. Now, let's talk about the possible side effects you can expect from using benzyl peroxide. So as a pharmacist, my job is not to just educate you about the benefits of certain products or medications, but I want to talk about the key side effects, interactions, and proper use of the product as well. So with benzyl peroxide, the biggest thing, like many acne medications, is that it can cause dryness and peeling. Dry skin is the most common side effect with this medication. So if you already have dry skin or have certain skin conditions like rosacea or eczema, I recommend you don't use it. Otherwise, generally speaking, the best way to use this medication is by starting slow. You know, you want to allow your skin chance to get used to off the medication. So try using it maybe every other day for a week or two and then as tolerated, increase it up to daily. Now, one thing to remember is that even if you start off carefully and slowly, you can still expect your skin to get dry, like very dry and possibly rough, peeling and uh, flakiness can also uh, appear on the skin and that's completely normal, nothing to be alarmed of. And one of the ways you can manage this dryness is first, just try using a moisturizer as often as you need, but I would say use it at least twice a day. And if your skin is super dry and peeling, then try applying moisturizer first under your benzyl peroxide lotion or gel, whatever you're using. What happens is this will act as a sort of barrier between your medication and the skin and the dryness or the peeling effect will kind of reduce. Another thing is that benzyl peroxide makes your skin more sensitive to the sun so it's important that you wear sunscreen every single day. If you suffer from severe acne, you can get like a heavy duty kind of prescription of benzyl peroxide from your dermatologist. But for those with mild to moderate acne, you can easily find some like, you know, over the counter products um, that comes in various strands. But when it comes to choosing the product, I would suggest start with like the lowest percentage, like start with 2.5 or 5%. This would actually maximize the effectiveness and minimize the irritation. Now, if your skin is more towards the sensitive side, then look for a formula that also includes a uh, humectant like um, glycerine, hyaluronic acid that would actually soothe and hydrate 
skin simultaneously. Now, if you are looking for an extra potent acne treatment, then try combining your benzoyl peroxide with another breakout minimizing ingredient such as your salicylic acid, your uh, topical antibiotics, or certain uh, topical retinoids, like you can combine um, this medication with adapalene. Uh, now, what happens is each of these skincare ingredients basically combat acne differently. So they are going to attack the acne in a different mechanism of action. And because of that, they're gonna work synergistically to treat and prevent all types of breakouts. Now, if you ask me what benzoyl peroxide product I would recommend as a pharmacist, I would say La Roche Posay. I am really like one-stop shop kind of a person. Like I wanna use one to two products that are all-in-one solution to all of my skincare problems. Yes, because I don't have time and energy for that extensive skincare routine. That's why I really like La Roche Posay's um, Duo Dual Action Acne Treatment Cream. And this is literally so far my favorite product. It's like all in one solution. It not only treats acne, but it also prevents blackheads and whitehead formation. And it does not dry skin at all. So definitely give it a try. It's about 30 bucks. You can get it from uh, Walgreens or get it from Amazon. Now, sometimes I do get body acne, which is kind of annoying, but you know, for that, I use the Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash. It's like a 10% benzyl peroxide. I keep it in my shower and put a couple of drops on my loofah along with my regular body wash and it just like scrub it all over my body. It really helps uh, kind of exfoliate and it also keeps the body acne under control. So since it has the 10% benzyl peroxide, I would say it's kind of strong for face. I don't recommend using it on face uh, if you are just starting to use the benzyl peroxide because it can kind of, you know, cause irritation and redness on the skin. This product is literally like, you know, very cost effective. You can buy it at Amazon under $10. Now, when using benzyl peroxide, it's important to keep in mind that it has bleaching properties and it can bleach your hair, clothing, your countertops. So just an FYI, don't apply it wearing a nice cute outfit because it can cause those bleaching spots on your fabric. However, it does not bleach your skin. So if you have a darker skin tone or more of like an olive skin tone like myself, don't worry, it's not gonna form those weird light spots on your skin. Now, truth be told, I can tell you this from my personal experience that sometimes when I recommend benzyl peroxide to my patients, they'll come back in three days and complain that, oh, it didn't work for them. So one thing I do wanna point out here is that with not just benzyl peroxide, but any skincare, patience is the key. You're not gonna see results overnight. And you know what, if somebody is promising results overnight, I would say just be very cautious because you wanna make sure that whatever you're applying on your skin is safe. You don't wanna damage your uh, skin in the long run and get some instant temporary you know, benefit. So when you start using the benzyl peroxide, you wanna wait about eight to 10 weeks before you can start noticing like good drastic results. And you know what, it could be very tempting to slaughter a whole lot of medication on your face and use it more than what's recommended, maybe start it at a higher strength, but don't do that, it's not really worth it. If you're thinking that by doing all that it's gonna work better, then the answer is no, because what happens is starting with a higher strength ends up over drying your face, which also causes like flakiness and irritation. So your best bet is to go with like 2.5% in the beginning and apply just enough to cover the affected area of the face. Don't apply it all over the face if your skin is sensitive and just gently dab it in on the affective area. And since it makes your skin sensitive to sunlight, make sure you apply not only a good moisturizer, but also a good sunscreen. And with sunscreen, the key is to reapply every two hours. If you're working outside or even if you're indoors by the window, make sure you reapply your sunscreen every two hours. And for the girls who make an excuse that they can't reapply sunscreen with the makeup on, go find yourself a good powdered sunscreen invest in it definitely worth it because the damage that the ultraviolet rays of the sun can do to your skin 
and the aging effect it causes is definitely not worth it. And lastly, if you notice that your acne are clearing with benzoyl peroxide, you should keep using it. Kind of incorporate it into your skincare routine, uh, especially if you do have an acne prone skin because sometimes uh, discontinuate may actually cause the acne to come back. And if you're not having good results after using it for at least 12 weeks, then I would say stop using it, discontinue it, but don't be disappointed. Talk to your doctor or pharmacist because there are so many other options for acne treatment and your doctor or pharmacist can definitely recommend you something else depending on your acne type and your skin condition. All right, so that's it for today's video. If you have any questions or video recommendation, write them in the comments. Like and share if you found value in this video. And if you wanna see more content on health, pharmacy, and beauty, then hit the subscribe button to stay up to date for more weekly content. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, take care, bye.